bar not just in the first frame here with his 80 break but in frame in a match one as well against Walden which lasted just 30 minutes maybe an opportunity here for Judd this red to the left corner can take the cue ball around the back of the black and to safety just decelerated a fraction there very little pace in that shot suggests to me Judd is brimful of confidence because I think he actually played for the, the blue and bolt colours there such as his confidence and that's not easy to do when you're playing somebody like Mark Selby one of the game's greatest players actually risk leaving the cue ball in the middle of the table there and it could be costly now if he's missed the red it's Mark's first decent opportunity to get a feel of the conditions although been played in the previous group Good idea the way the tables are playing. Mark Selby's seen all this before though from Judd Trump. Won't perturb him by in the slightest. Great performance in frame one by Judd. Certainly more than capable of a reply. Six. black there it's a choice of reds just above the black spot to play for into the left corner Selby 13. himself of course is back in the winner's circle he won the English Open shortly before Christmas so he's feeling good in general he said he hadn't played at all since winning that tournament couple of weeks before Christmas or in fact a week before and then coming here yesterday had a break in Dubai with the family it had been uh, quite a difficult year in many ways and absolutely deserved to have a bit of time off still got to the semis despite all of that and very nearly got to the final 19 He led Karen Wilson 2-1 in their semi-final. Karen Wilson finished off with back-to-back -back centuries. He'd already made one, so he actually had three in the match. So that's what was required to beat Selby. We now know he will play Hussain Vafai at the Masters. That's been confirmed today. With Shazing Tom's suspension, Vafai will make his debut against Selby on Sunday night. 28. So I'll be playing the pink to the left centre because his plan now will be to roll this red to the left corner leave himself fairly parallel on the black to then stun into that little group of reds and the pink knowing that that loose red just above the black is something you'll feel that he's almost guaranteed to be on 34 and with the pink there it may not be the case anymore could consider 35. rethinking this he may well play for the loose red now that that pink doesn't respot. So purposely leave himself low on the red so that in potting it he can just flick a couple of reds into play. being on the blue wasn't easy to get the right side of it but shouldn't be a problem Forty-eight. so he's got really all the pieces in play here to win this frame that's the one way to stop Trump when he's in the mood he's in pot everything yourself Keep him in his seat. Forty-nine. Why 
Let's have that slight bit of lateral head movement, Mark Selby. He's queuing up on the shot. Something he's tried to eradicate but never has done. Yes, it's not as pronounced, is it, as it used to be. But like you say, it's, it is still there. Still visible. What he knows now, he didn't know yesterday, was that there's a high break price because uh, there was a frame where he could have beaten, at the time it was 127, Matt Selt, and he was on 121 with the last black, he left the last black, sat down, and then it suddenly occurred to him, he asked the referee, is there a high break price? And Rob Spencer said, yes, there is. What is it? 128. Sorry, 127. So he could have beaten it. 62. But in terms of this frame, he's not won it yet. That's gone wrong. And there's still 75 on. Yeah, just needed one good positional shot there. And it wasn't easy from the position he had on the black. Yes, it's a mention. Nice break. Made Locks in any up. group carries a break 62. prize of £500. So certainly worth to achieve the highest break in the group. It's funny though, because when he found out he was <laughs> that there was a prize and he, he could have potted the black to potentially win it, he said, what is the prize? 20 grand. So it's not quite that much, it's 500 quid, but worth having. In the end, uh, it was beaten anyway. Mark Selby needs to be very careful here. Judd has just played the safety shot and brought the awkward red into play. 62 points lead but Selby has managed to accrue and could soon disappear with a mistake. Got plenty left on for Judd, there are 75 remaining so plenty of points to play with. I mean, it's not always about the points on the board, it's about where the balls are on the table. And Selby doesn't really have much or any security here. Oh, Trump knocks that one in. One. Well, decision time now. He's 61 points behind. There are 67 that still remain. Doesn't necessarily have to take on a difficult pot here to continue the break. He's gone for the brown and it's gone in. And we're playing for the red that's on the black spot. That would give Five. Judd the opportunity to bring the black into play because he wouldn't want to pot the black at the moment because it'd be tied up. Because the red near the black spot isn't quite occupying it. Six. Well, the first ready potted was, was great, but there was an element of safety in it, of course. The, the brown was all or nothing. Superb pot to the middle, and what a chance now to steal this frame. Just underline how well he's playing here. Twelve. I'm just doing some quick arithmetic here. Judd doesn't really need to worry about the black at all. Four reds and four pinks. Suffice, and he could just try and trundle that black along the cushion frame winning ball should he get that far of course I was wondering now whether we do have a new favourite for this second frame rather be in just position Thirteen. Twenty-five. 
26. It just feels like it's going to come down to the last black, doesn't it? You, you expect Trump to get down to it from here. Just landed fractionally awkwardly on this remaining red. He's going to be slightly hampered here by the pink. Jack the cue button in the air, strike downwards. Just about managed to get the amount of action required. In fact, he's landed perfectly on the pink. 33, chance of a frame winning 66 here. Steal this frame. Shot though will be playing from blue to pink, and Mark Selby there knows it. The blacks are near it's and Christian 41. Critical. Jen gets the correct angle on the pink to play for it. Forty-four. It's got to be said when Selby's 62 in front against anyone, you fancy him to win the frame. But Trump got in with a great red, then potted a terrific brown as well. Said he'd stall out to try and win the frame. 53. Oh, he's just that very nicely, but he'll probably have to play for the black into the same pocket as the pink, so he'll have a, a couple of inches to travel. 59. Well, as we said, it always seemed likely to come down to this shot. This is to steal the frame and to lead Mark Selby 2-0. That's a terrific clearance from...